witches, wizards, and statutes of secrecy task force members. We are completing part two of the Darkest of Times Brilliant event today. And we are starting off with a severe trace. Let's see what this is. Either Grop or the flying car. All right, it's Grop. So I do actually need more of these since being able to prestige this page. Oh, we already have a potion on. Um, at community day. So let's see if we can grab him up real quick. Oh, there we go. We already had a potent simulo potion on. I can't remember what I used that po- Oh, I remember now. It was a uh, Victor and Hermione. It was actually the last fragment I needed to place that image. And it almost departed on me, but thank you, Donald Drafts, for that. So anyway, let's go into the task list here real quick. Uh, we're on part three, and I've already completed three Arresto Momentum spell casts. In fact, it was on a single pensive, so, before we collect that, we're gonna put a Borubio Rain Elixir on because I'm realizing I don't have one on. Next, we had Return 5 High Thoughtables, which is already done. Now we need to place two Dark Detectors at an inn for 15 Brilliant Family XP. So let me throw on a Potent Exumio, or excuse me, Potent Exumio, a Borubio Rain Elixir on, and we can collect all of that. And there is an inn up here that we are going to place the Dark Detectors at. Collect. Collect. All right, so let's go to this inn right here. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use the entire timer on the dark detectors, which is fine because I need to go. Turn my car in shop to get it repaired because unfortunately somebody backed into me. That's okay. So we're gonna use about 15 minutes worth of this dark detector, but we can go ahead and collect those rewards there. 25 Brilliant Family XP, three restricted section books, a gargoyle statue sticker, the uh, unicorn hair, and the hermit crab shells. Goodness gracious, I'm struggling today. So the last step, we need to defeat 10 foes in wizarding challenges, place three level one darkest of times rune stones in wizarding challenges, and use seven potions. Then we can collect the pensive sticker, the one I'm thinking is gonna be animated. Uh, 50 gold, six restricted section books, and 750 wizarding XP, plus the young Dumbledore fragment. So unfortunately, I'm not exactly in the best spot to be doing that last step. I need to go to a fortress, apparently. So, well, about that. We're gonna spend some time here, and then I'll meet you at the fortress here in a little bit. The damage to my car was pretty minor, so it's really not that big of a deal. But it is my brand new car, so I kind of don't want the, the scratch on there. So anyway, I got set up with a really cool rental, I guess. It's a Kia. It's different. Touchy brakes. <laughs> All right, so the last thing that we need to do for task number four is just a bunch of fortress battles. I'm sure I'll use some of those potions in the battles as well. Um, and then we can move on to the bonus assignments, which I have put off this event like I did the last one. Today is Monday. The event ends tomorrow. But thankfully, I have Dragonport Mantos, which are one kilometer, as well as Adventure Sync on my side. So if anything, I can go home and run some of those off. But let's uh, get to battling.
I think by now we have collected or finished off those first two tasks, the ten foes, not quite the potions, but I'm sure we'll use those on some other fortress battles here. But right now I just want to collect the 25 brilliant family XP for defeating ten foes in wizarding challenges, and then the one or excuse me, one spell book for placing three level one darkest of times runestones in a wizarding challenge chamber. So let's collect those. Still need to use four potions, but I think because it's so cold out here, I am gonna warm up in the car and then maybe um, we can place them on some of the harder high threat level foundables. So let's see if we can find some of those as we warm ourselves up. But it looks like two real quick that we are leveling up. Boom. All right. Let's do this. All right, so we found things to put potions on, and so now we can uh, collect 25 Brilliant Family XP, maybe. There we go. And collect the last of the rewards, which is going to be that pensive, the golden coins, the restricted section books. Uh, XP, I put a Brufio Brain Elixir on, just which I should have done during the Fortress Battles, but of course I never remember to do that. But that counted towards our U7 potions. And then we get the last foundable that we need for this event. Yay! Okay. Now, we're on to the bonus assignments. Thank you, we are all done there. And we're gonna back out and go back in. All right, here we are. So we need to return 30 brilliant uh, event Darkest of Times Family Foundables, return 10 High Foundables, obtain 10 Port Keys by unlocking Port Mantos, and then we can claim a portrait customization, two Donald Drafts, three spell books, 2,000 Wizarding XP, 100 Brilliant Family XP, and a badge for your Ministry ID. So, we've got a lot of brilliance to return, so let's go ahead and start. All right, you guys, this is the last brilliant that we need to complete the tasks. Still need, I wanna say, four more high threat foundables. Yeah, so we got Fox right there, and we're able to collect that frame customization. Now we just need four, not six, four more of the high threat found foundables. And we're still currently walking off some port keys. I know this is gonna make some people mad, but yeah, I've put my silver keys in some of the 1Ks, but I'm a little bit on crunch time, and honestly, I don't really, like, of anything that I purchase, it's either the bonus bundles or just keys, so I really don't mind spending much money on keys as is. Um, that's just me personally, again, sorry if that triggers you, but that's where I'm at with that. Anyway, we are going to keep hunting for those high threat foundables and keep walking around. I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, at last we found our last high threat foundable, the last one. <laughs> Last one I recorded, um, it departed on me. So I did put a little potent extemulo potion on, er, potent, regular extemulo potion on, just as a little reassur re reassurance. I can never talk. All right, so that should have been the last one. Um, port key should be close to unlocking. I'm going to unlock the rest of them at home, but let's take a look here. And we have Return 10 High Foundables completed, so we can collect those for Donald Drafts. And now all that's left is the Port Key task. Let's see how close we are to those. It looks like 0.2 kilometers. I think I am just going to unlock those at home and just use my Adventure Sync to help me unlock those. So, yeah, I think that's it for this portion. Um, as soon as we have Port Keys unlocked, I will check back in again. She in fact did not check in again because she did not finish the event. <sighs> yeah, it is what it is. Miss out on those spell books. Miss out on all those rewards. But yeah. Sorry about that guys. Really bizarre video, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.